All right, so I literally just got off my stream on Kick, and I found out that there's been another another dev preview for the new Faz update, and we found out last night, found out yesterday that the update got delayed. So this is the first one back, and I'm fucking really excited because it's been two months. So we got rewards, salty footprints, and special ingredients incoming. Okay. Welcome back with some news for you and information images are work in progress. Progression is a breakdown of some of the major progressive changes coming with the, with the update. Experience and money. Experience and money values are now tied. If you earn 100 bucks, you'll also be 100. You'll also be only 100 XP. Nice and simple. Oh, shit. Okay, so any. Okay. So whatever money you earn, you'll earn that XP. You'll earn that XP too. That is. Okay, that, yeah, beep, 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 I got you. I'll read that in a second, but. You got 12 over 5 total and you got 12 over 5 XP. That is sick. Yeah, I like that. It seems like they've updated that little level thing too. That's that's interesting. The amount of money and experience you'll be earning has skyrocketed when compared to the live version of the game. Individual values have been tweaked, like moving the bone out of the reward multiplier to make gameplay feel more rewarding and encourage players to complete the main objectives. I like that. I like that a lot. Money, money, money. I like that a lot. Leveling and prestiging. Each level's required experience increases as you level. And that amount increases further the closer you get to level 100. For example, you need 100 XP to get from level 100. You need 100 XP to get from level 1 to 2, but over 500, 5,000 XP to get from level 99 to 100. So I'm glad they did this because in the current build, you earn 100 XP for whatever level. So it was insanely easy to level up. But now they've actually changed it to that. Obviously, the um, XP increases as you level. When you finally reach level 100, you'll, pre you'll be presented with a choice. Continue playing as you are, lev leveling past 100, or at any time, you can opt to prestige, resetting your money, level, and equipment. In favor of getting an additional loadout slot, a new unique badge and title for your ID card, and a new patch for your player's arm. Okay. So they're, like, trying to, it's like, go into, like, the Call of Duty direction, because in the OG days, when you prestiged your gun or whatever, uh, your level would reset, but you would earn a star next to it and something else. I forget, but um, and like an emblem and whatever. So they kind of like carried over to this. Obviously, I don't know if this is actual inspiration for it, but it's kind of cool that they did that. So you, it's almost like an ultimatum, or it's just like a choice. It's cool. Consumables with the with the equipment system. Some items will be labeled consumable in the shop. If one of these items is used at all during a contract, it will need to be re-bought when you return to the lobby. Some upgrades for consumable items actually remove the need to buy them each time too. Okay. So if you use if you use an item, if you use a consumable during a, a contract, you need to rebuy. it. Okay. This one a little bit different. I like it. Experimenting. I like it, I like it a lot. Okay, salt. Here we go. Some of you may remember an ultraviolet preview that we mentioned Salt specifically, so we thought it was time to dive deeper into some details. Um, for those watching me, you might be wondering why am I only covering this dev preview and not the others. Um, I only just thought about like covering content like this, and you know, here we are. <laughs> Hope you enjoy and stick around for the content. As you know, yeah, oh, as you know, with the new ultraviolet changes, Salt will become an aid in gathering evidence. Okay. If your ghost doesn't feel interactive enough and just won't touch your door or window, you can place some salt and gather footprints instead. With equipment upgrades, salt is a little more useful than it was previously. Okay. T1 is the ghost hunt salt shaker. It can place two piles per canister, and you can bring three canisters into each contract. The footprints created by stepping in this pile will act in the same way as footprints for that ghost. For example, an embarker may leave fuel footprints and other ghosts. Oh, okay, so the so the shake we have now is tier 1, of course. Tier 2 was a wooden container filled with special pink Himalayan salt. With the size of capacity, you can, place, you can place three piles down instead of a small spot. But instead of a small spot, you can place a line of salt perfect for blocking doorways or corridors. Oh, shit, okay. Yeah, that's heaps cool. And then tier 3 brings a lot more to the table. A glass bottle filled with custom blend of black salt that has been blessed. If a ghost steps in this during its passive state, it will be repelled back the way it came. Allowing you to effectively trap the ghost in its room if you place the salt correctly. During the ghost hunting state, if a ghost passes through this special salt, it will be slowed down considerably for a short time. Fuck, wow. This point, you didn't stand a chance. <laughs> oh, that's heaps cool. To a maximum, to a maximum level. Oh, so you're going to get 999 now. Okay, another refill button. Wait. Where did this come from? An auto refill button will be added to the load in this room. Just let us so you don't need to manually buy things after every contract. Okay. That's it for Dev Preview 12. We'll catch you with some more, more teasers soon. Okay, so this is very interesting. So all this stuff we have now is all t tier 1 evidence. That's mad. 
but I like how you get a lot more money for finding the correct ghost now, so it actually like encourages you to actually pay attention. Yeah, I like that a lot. And you get more money for perfect investigation too. I hope th this I don't well it doesn't seem like it's a high difficulty. This looks like professional with the reward multiplier. Because professional is times three at the moment. This looks very interesting. I'm very keen to see what this brings. And I have a feeling the the update delay was intentional. Or well, maybe not intentional, intentional, but like um made it in a way so that they could do more dev previews because we missed out for like two months because the devs were on vacay or some of them were the others were doing something else i don't remember but yeah i feel like this is a good segue or like good strategy to hype the game up again because there's nothing going on right now i'm only really playing the game right now for weekly challenges and to help a friend and hit 1k but that yeah that's really it um that's if that's it for this week i'm not sure when the next one will be we'll we will find out <gasps> hope you enjoyed leave a like and sub for more content like this to keep you in the loop and i will see you in the next one